If you need to update your deck, go to 50cards.shop. Get 5% off your next purchase when you use code NEXUS. You know, they say there's two reasons why someone goes on to build a Figueroa deck. Wonder what they could be. Welcome back guys to another deck profile. I'm Richard and today we're going to be doing our standard Figueroa deck profile featuring the support from DVT05 and some fun little glitter cards. So let's just go ahead and jump right into the deck profile, starting off with our grade zero Thagrea. So Thagrea, the zero is just like all the other zeros. It's just when you go second, uh, when wrote upon, draw a card. Going right into our grade one, we have beneath Brilliant Light Thagrea, when it's wrote upon by the grade two Harsh Training Thagrea, reveal the top card of your deck. If it's a two or less, you call it to rest. Uh, it has the glitter effect, so it seeks regalies, but it's mostly just so that you can have it active with Maple and Thagrea. So that's all the Thagreas grade one and up have this ability going forward. Grade two, Harsh Training Thagrea for a ride deck. When it is wrote upon by the grade three with Thagrea in its name, look at top five, choose for one Thagrea or Maple, put in your hand, shuffle your deck. So Maple is the regali or the dual nation card for the deck. So this kind of helps you find it pretty quickly or find your Persona Ride target with Thagrea. Grade three is gonna be one who walks in the path of light, Thagrea. Uh, both Thagreas, the dark and the light, have the same ability, which is when you ride from hand with a different name than this unit, it counts as Persona Ride. So you can go back and forth. So giving you way more access to Persona Ride, which is really cool. Uh, act ability, once per turn, kind of last one, look at the top five cards of your deck, choose a grade two or less, call it. If you have the dark in your soul, choose two instead of one so you can fill your board a little better. Uh, at the end of the battle, this attacked, if it was placed on top of the dark, you discard a card, choose a rearguard and restand it. So kind of like Bastion, you need to multi-attack. So that's it for the right deck. We're gonna go right into our grade threes, starting off with our three other copies of Thurgria for Persona Riding. Uh, kind of like how the light Thurgria has abilities when you have dark and soul. Uh, dark has abilities when you have light in the soul. So the more of either one you have, the more likely you get off their effects. So it's good to just kind of like max out, you know, the full playset of either one. Uh, going into our next set of grade threes, we're going to show uh, one who blooms in the dark Thurgrea. So one who blooms in the dark Thurgrea skill is um, same thing counts as a persona ride when you ride something with a different name uh, with the gray in its name. Act, retire two of your grade two or less rearguards, choose one of your opponent's rearguards and retire it. If the light the gray is in your soul, you retire the whole column of the chosen unit instead. So it's got like some shadow paladin retiring gimmick to it. At the end of the battle, this unit attacked. If it was placed by riding onto uh, Path of Light the Greya, you can kind of blast one, discard one, stand this, and it gets drive minus one. So it's kind of like got like some spectral duke to it as well, except you don't have to retire for the restand, you just got a discard. So the deck's got a lot of field building, multi-attacking, being able to swing your vanguard twice is really cool. So especially because if you stack crits on it, you can just swing again with an extra crit. So this deck is very aggressive. So that's where like the most fun of it is. And the last grade three in the deck is we're running three copies of Refuerzas. So Refuerzas skill is if you Persona Road this turn, uh, it gets boost. So that's kind of implied just the fact that you're gonna be Persona riding so frequently throughout the game. It just makes it really easy for you to get off that skill. Second skill is when it's in the back row, when your other unit stands by card ability, stand this unit. Since both the Grias work with restanding stuff, uh, being able to put Refrezos and in those columns that are restanding makes it even bigger. So um, all the grade twos have 10K base. So when you're swinging the grade two, boost this, hits for 23 magic number with the persona ride it's 33 so it makes it pretty difficult to guard and then when you restand the column this stands with it too so it's a lot of power coming with that as well so that is it for our grade threes we're just going to go ahead and jump into the grade twos starting with four copies of maple which is our uh regali focus glitter card so the first skill uh, and again, this is our first dual, dual nation card. So it's a half Stoicaea, half Keter Sanctuary. The first skill is drop zone. When your grade three or greater Vanguard is placed during your ride phase, if you do not have a maple on your field, you call this to rearguard circle from your drop zone. 
Second skill is if you have a Vanguard with the Greya in its name with the glitter th effect like all the, the Greyas do. So it's at the end of the battle that this unit attack. You Soul Blast one or more cards. Choose a card from your soul with the same grade as the total sum of what you Soul Blasted, put it in your hand. So the idea is that if you have a grade three in your soul, you Soul Blast a one and a two, so that way it totals a three, and you can add the three from your soul to your hand, and then you can Persona Ride again the next turn. Um, and also Maple moving to soul as well, helps you fill your soul for other costs. So Maple's a really great card for the deck. Obviously it was meant for three Greyas, so you wanna max it out to four. All right, next up for grade twos, we're running four copies of Drilling Angel. So Drilling Angel's skill is when it's placed, you put a card from your drop zone into your soul. Then look at the top three cards of your deck, choose one with the same name as the card you put in the soul and call it, shuffle your deck. The main focus of this card is we're trying to put the Greyas into the soul early. So that the turn that you ride light the Greya, if you have a dark the Greya in the soul, you just call this, move it in the soul and you could immediately use the greatest first skill to call two or more to call two grade two or less rear guards from the deck so drilling angel is really helpful for that it helps you fill your soul it can help you fill your board it's just a really really good utility card for the greya definitely want to max out four because it's like one of the most important cards to help you you know pull off your effects all right lastly for grade twos three copies of arthen um, it's just a really good card to control or combat like control decks um, just because it makes it, it can only be targeted and also it gets power when you persona ride. First skill, front row. All your rear guards with different names from this unit cannot be chosen by your opponent's card effects. So if they want to choose something, they have to choose this. Second skill is when this attacks, if you persona rode this turn, it gets 5k. So it's a good little 15k beater. Um, nothing really special there. It's just kind of like, you know, standard with power not much going on but with the persona rides 25k beat with a boost 23k boost or an 8k boost he'll still hitting for some magic numbers so decent card to run in the deck so that's it for our grade twos we're just going to go ahead and jump into grade ones starting off with our four copies of painkiller angel so painkiller angel is mostly just so like we can like filter through our deck and find stuff skill is at the end of the battle boost soul blast one retire this draw a card so helping you find persona ride helping you fill your hand um, you're gonna be calling it from the deck so the minute you call it from deck and then retire it that's still plusing you cards in hand so it's a really good helpful booster and you fill soul pretty decently in this deck so the soul is not an issue uh, next up for grade ones we just run our one copy of diffuser angel diffuser angel skill is when it's placed put a card from your hand to the soul choose your vanguard in this unit they both get 5k so if you have eighth degree on your soul you can just do that and then give more power to your vanguard especially since uh, dark degree restands itself having your vanguard have that extra power can be helpful especially if you put this behind it as a little booster so we only run the one just because losing a card in your hand does kind of suck and we still have um Drilling Angel to help you fill stuff from drops so you're not losing any hand. It's just kind of like an extra card to help you, you know, fill your soul. Lastly for our grade ones are four copies of RPGs, Age of Spirit Dragon. So, you know, PG, it's the one from DBT01. And, you know, if you have one or less or two or less cards in your hand, you have to discard a card. So if it's like the one card in your hand, you have to discard if the PG cost. So. That is it for our grade ones. Now we're going on to our triggers. Starting off with our over trigger. I'm running the Albaria. This is the one that comes in the trial deck instead of the Keter Sanctuary focused uh, over trigger just because giving your rear guards drive checks doesn't really feel as helpful in this deck just because your front row is gonna be grade twos, your four resists are in your back row, and you know, you're not really gonna get as many drive checks out of it. But I feel like with Arbaria, which is the additional effect giving an extra 100 million to another unit or to stack it on the same unit if you want, um, just gives more pressure to your opponent, especially because with the Greya, you're gonna restand something, uh, either restand your Vanguard or restand a rear guard. So whatever you're restanding is gonna get the Hundo Mill, and then another unit can also get Hundo Mill. So a lot of power coming just from the Albaria. And I feel like it's a lot more consistent for the Greya. Moving on to the rest of our trigger lineup. Uh, just put this over here. 
We got Blade Feather Angel. So Blade Feather Angel is the crit with the skill, which is at the end of the battle boosted, put it into soul, choose a unit, it gets 2k. Um, doesn't really need to fix any numbers, but it's just the fact that you want to have soul for costs. So if you want to just throw it down and then maybe use Painkiller into a draw card, you can do that. Um, but it's really just there, just because it's a crit with the skill. Uh, we're running eight crits, so we got four more from the trial deck, the Gurgant. And then we're running three copies of Alpac, which is our front trigger from DBT03 with the skill. Uh, Kant, Guard Circle, if your opponent's Vanguard's grade three or greater, gets an extra five shields, so it's a good 20 shield body. Three copies of Arceus. So Arceus is, you know, the heal that came in the trial deck. And then I'm testing out the one copy of Invigorate Sage, which is when your opponent's attacking, unit has attacked two or more times this turn, it gets an extra uh, 15k. I like this one a lot better than the one that protects you if your opponent's unit has an extra, like, artificial crit, I want to call it, which is a crit that they gained from a skill or that its original crit is too, instead of um, being gained the trigger by a trigger effect. So, but I like this better because there are a lot of units that restand in standard. So I feel like this comes up more likely than a unit gaining a crit by a card effect. Like only on top of my head, I can just think of uh, Bruce and Babzarga. Besides that, I can't really think of anything else in a consistent meta at the moment that does that. I feel like Restanding units happen way more often and in, in more decks in standard. So I want to test out the one of this So that is it for the deck if you guys have any questions comments or concerns Let me know in the comment section below um, But besides that that's pretty much the deck um, and Maybe we'll hopefully get some standard games going, but we'll just kind of see if uh, glitter cards or decks are going to get any support in the future but we'll have to see for now but this has been a pretty fun deck to play surprisingly besides like the whole well you know going on um so i'm actually enjoying playing the deck for its play style i promise it's it's just for the play style obviously all right i'm richard and i'll see you all in the next one bye